Hi, Angela Arnold here, and today we're going to take a look at the e-commerce elements that Weebly has in place for us. Um, basically, it's pretty simple again. It's again a drag and drop element that you put on your page, and you can uh, either get paid through PayPal or Google Checkout or both, I guess, whichever is your preference. But um, let's pull a product block onto our website. Here's a product block. I'm on the revenue tab. I'm going to pull down a product block here. Okay. And I get a chance to edit it. You can see how simple this is. It's very easy to get paid using Weebly. Okay. I have an ebook that I have written. It's entitled College Missions, College Admissions 411, The Black Student's Guide to Getting Accepted. Now, even though I work with students of all races and ethnicities, I uh, wrote this book to target my black clients because they uh, told me they felt a specific need for a book that, um, that serviced them in the fact that they dealt with certain issues which were specific to that group. So my book basically has a lot of information which is general for anybody, but it has some specific information which is um, particular to the black students and some of the issues they face as they navigate the college admissions process. So um, that's my book and I'm going to put in an element here so that you can see how to construct this page. First of all, I'm going to upload an image. Um, again, it's the same type of thing like we've been uploading before, before. Uh, display style, block, small, regular, or large. I'm going to go for block. I want to have something that's in the center of my page. Now, I have to decide whether to use an add to cart button or a buy now button. And how would you decide which one to use? Well, if you are selling more than one item, you generally want to go to add to cart because uh, People can shop here, they can get something else, they can add something else, and when they get finished, then they check out. So I'm going to add, put an Add to Cart button down here, but I'll show you what the Buy Now button looks like in also. Hide Image, no. Hide Description, no. Position of Product could be left, centered, or right. So I'm going to put it in the center, and now I'm going to upload my image. So I'll find an image on my machine. Okay, here we go. It's a draft JPEG and it's 34 kilobytes, so it doesn't have a lot of resolution. I'll see what it looks like in terms of uh, being a large image. It might not be good, but we'll see. Ah, oh, it's in there already. It doesn't take long to upload an image when you have something that's uh, small, like that, small size. Okay, I'm going to make it bigger, stretch it out some. Okay, and that's not moving too much for me. I'm going to put another one in there in a second. Um, I don't like the way that looks. I want to go to another image. I'm going to go to the different icon. You can see that. It, to me, it looks a little bit too wide. That's why you mess around with the types of elements you put down here. It looks too wide and too flat. So I'm going to get a different element here. Delete that. I'm going to go for the small product element because my, my size was pretty small, the number of um, uh, kilobytes in that image. So I'm going to go for this and I'm going to upload here. Again, you still have the same options. I'm going to have it on the left side. I don't want to have it centered because this is a small product. And now I'm going to click upload image. I'm going to upload the same image. Uh, oh yeah, I like that much better. I can make it larger if I want to. But here we go, College Admissions 411, The Black Student's Guide to Getting Accepted. Now here, I can put in the product name, so that's what I'm going to type in again, College Ad Admissions 411, exclamation point, The Black Student's Guide to Getting Accepted. Okay, now you see it's run out of the border a little bit, but we'll see how that looks and how we can fix it up when we uh, put it together. Now I'm going to cut and paste the product description here. Uh, it jumps down to the bottom here, but that's okay. I'm going to put it in there. And the price is $37. I offer a number of sufficient bonuses with it. Um, 
and you can check into that on my my ebook page if you want to and I have an add to cart button here so that's good to go I'm going to click outside the box and see what it looks like okay the product description is not in there right hold on I'm going to cut and paste it so it goes well okay product description cut and paste okay there you go um, and I'm going to take this this is college admissions 411 the black students guide to getting accepted you can get your hands on the most effective most comprehensive college admissions information system designed exclusively for black students available anywhere on earth today for only thirty seven dollars ordering is easy and I say click the add to cart button but I want to jazz it up a little bit there's no reason for me to repeat that same sentence again so I'm going to get rid of that I would like to change the color of the text a little bit to give it some more pop so I'm going to highlight the text and I'm going to go up to this button and see what color text do I like well I like that blue one you know I, I like that zip to it so I'm going to click the blue right here I can move it over I can move it down here it's a little more blacker this is more like navy blue uh, but I like the nice royal blue there so I'm going to put it up there click OK see what it looks like ah, it looks okay I'm gonna make it a little bit darker okay I go up here mess around a little bit more ah, I think I like that a bit better yeah that looks a little bit better to me I'm going to uh, increase the font size because I want this to, to have some snap to it and I think that's good and I like the way that nice intense blue came out after I uh, increased the size now for this ordering is easy I'm going to give me some more contrast there so I'm going to make this larger I'm going to make it bold I'm going to make it italicized I'm going to make it larger because I want people to know click on this button that might be excessive I'll bring it down a little bit click that and I'm going to give it a nice new color like a hot red for that okay come on up I think I'm going to like that click OK see what it looks oh yeah 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 that red has a lot of pop to it now what I see is that after I've increased the size of those fonts this book itself is not large enough so I'm going to go up here increase the font size so stop moving okay I'll wait a little bit okay all right I'm going to um, highlight this I'm going to make it larger pop it out a little bit more okay I think I like that let's see what that looks like ah yeah 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 that's good college admissions 411 the black students guide to getting accepted like that and I think I'm going to give a little space between the blue and the red font I think I like that a lot and I have the add to cart button there so uh, I'm going to publish this so you can see what it looks on my website and I just gave it a page number one instead of using new page all the time so I'm going to publish it and I'm going to go to the website so you can see what it looks like published and after that I'm going to make a little change to it so I'm going to use the buy now button instead of the pay to cart button and you can see what Weebly's buy now button will look like okay I'll go to my website I will hope and pray that it has been um, uploaded okay let's see now I don't see one there yet let's see Oh yes, it's been published. So let's see what it looks like. 